Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Tanush and uh, today we'll be discussing about Shani Mahadasha so, or Saturn Mahadasha. So what is Saturn Mahadasha, the duration, what we can expect uh, and what happens in general in Saturn Mahadasha, right? So uh, let's get started. So Saturn or Shani is considered the old wise man who is here to teach us life lessons, right? So when one goes through the 16 years of uh, Jupiter or Guru Mahadasha uh, because Jupiter is a very positive planet and a very uh, sattvic planet you know uh, things are quite positive and if Jupiter is placed in a decent position in your chart then um, and it's not a functional malefic um, and not you know debilitated then uh, one, one thoroughly enjoys the Dasha it's quite optimistic and life seems to be quite happy quite easy going right so uh, just wait uh, one you know uh, for the saturn mahadasha to start so when one enters into the saturn mahadasha you know it's like entering into a completely different time zone right so things are completely different the equation changes you know um, our values our principles you know our expectation from life everything changes and initially the transition from jupiter mahadasha to Saturn Mahadasha may be frustrating if we do not have proper knowledge or if we don't know what to expect uh, during the Saturn Mahadasha. So it's better to have the basic uh, understanding of astrology so that you know once uh, Saturn Mahadasha is coming so we know you know what we can expect uh, during that period of time and uh, because Saturn Mahadasha is quite long it's a 19 years time period so what happens is when we enter into Saturn Mahadasha we are at a particular age uh, group and when we exit from Saturn Mahadasha it's like you know you have already passed two decades so a huge chunk of your life goes uh, in the Saturn Mahadasha and it is said that it's better to have Saturn Mahadasha uh, during the age of you know 25 to 45 between 25 to 45 or 50 because Saturn gives us life lessons it makes us quite matured it makes us hardworking and it prepares us to actually live the life and uh, it's not that the dasha is completely bad so uh, it doesn't uh, go that way so but it's surely different um, than you know the, the jupiter mahadasha which uh, one has experienced previously right so um, saturn mahadasha will actually give us uh, you know a lot of opportunities to work very hard and that is the expectation uh, you know uh, from Saturn so what does Saturn expect from us right Saturn expects uh, one to be uh, you know one to work very hard uh, you know so we cannot expect things to happen very easily uh, Saturn expects us to be disciplined uh, to be very honest um, very humble leave away our ego you know uh, if, if you are carrying that ego with you then you know Saturn will do things which will force you to let go your ego and you know if you have that understanding that you know if this is going to happen in the Saturn Mahadasha then one voluntarily gives up the ego or you know one is not attached to things one has actually um, you know acquired during the Jupiter Mahadasha right so uh, one can expect this and uh, if we enter into Saturn Mahadasha with the expectation that you know during this 19 period it is a time for me to work extremely hard uh, be disciplined, take a lot of responsibility because Saturn imposes a lot of responsibility on you. Believe me, you know, you cannot escape that responsibility. You have to take. And if you voluntarily take the responsibility uh, in proper spirit, then Saturn will be quite pleased with us and even we'll be able to, you know, uh, go through the time, uh, you know, peacefully, right? Otherwise, then it's a struggle. Otherwise, it's, you know, if you are a kind of person who avoids uh, hard work and responsibility then Saturn Mahadasha will be a nightmare for you believe me right and Saturn will make sure that uh, by the time you end Saturn Mahadasha you become responsible and hard working right so if we take up voluntarily then the Dasha goes very peacefully and if you don't take then Saturn will ensure that we actually learn the lessons right so that is why Saturn is here now one thing we have to understand is Saturn gives us the result of our past karma, right? So we have already incurred some karma in the past life and based on 
on that karma when the saturn dasha starts so you know what results will be getting is already decided because it's from the past life right so saturn gives us the past life karma it's already decided that you know will be facing what kind of situations and everything it's already decided right so it is what we have done in the past life and we have to take responsibility for what we have done so we are kind of paying uh, you know repaying the loan which we have actually taken during our past life so if we have done uh, some very good karma during our past lives then saturn will be placed in a very good spot in your chart and if we have done you know kind of very bad deeds in our past life then saturn will be placed in a very bad spot and it will ensure that you know it will give us tough time right now what are the uh, some of the best placements for saturn obviously the best placements for saturn are the upachaya houses the houses 3 6 10 and 11 so when saturn is placed in these houses it it actually gives wonderful results right uh, so the basic qualities of you know hard work taking responsibility being honest so all that is there right so we have to adapt to those qualities during the saturn madasha and in a way actually saturn is actually uh, uh, changing our our character to be a good person right which is obviously good so those qualities will be there but when saturn is in this upachaya houses you know it implies that we have done something uh, some very good karma in our past life and we are getting back the results during the saturn madasha right so saturn does very good in this upachaya houses and it gives excellent results now if even if saturn is debilitated in your chart then saturn still does uh, good in this upachaya houses namely the houses 3 6 10 and 11 so uh, the results may not be as good but the results will not be as bad as you know uh, as uh, saturn being debilitated and sitting in some other house right now uh, saturn also does very good in earthly signs like uh, taurus virgo capricorn it does excellent so whenever saturn is placed in these signs you know uh, saturn will give you again very good results and uh, saturn also does very good in uh, you know uh, the houses related to the signs namely uh, so uh, we refer to the uh, natural kala purush chakra so taurus is the second house you know virgo is the sixth house so obviously sixth house is a, one of the upachaya houses and uh, capricorn is the 10th house which is again the upachaya houses but saturn also does well in the second house right now uh, in the second house saturn will actually uh, take you uh, you know away from your family so you may travel uh, probably to a far distance place or you may travel outside your country or even uh, saturn will actually uh, increase you know uh, create lot of misunderstanding with the family members so you may have issues with the family members uh, you know and then you may actually have a distance with them and uh, your relationship may not be as good as it was earlier so i know a very close person uh, who has a very big family and when the saturn mahadasha started you know there was lot of misunderstanding with the family members and you know there was lot of distance and by doing this actually saturn is making you independent right so when saturn is in the second house it makes us uh, one uh, one you know independent so how does it make it doesn't just give the quality just like that now uh, what we can expect during the saturn madasha is um, things will slow down considerably so when uh, life was moving at a very good pace during uh, jupiter madasha when things were quite optimistic when um, you know when one is getting support from different friends and you know life seems to be very good so when saturn madasha starts you know things will slow down considerably so things will not happen at the same pace that they happen during the jupiter madasha uh, then you know you'll have to work hard so this is a common uh, symptom of uh, saturn madasha and this is the expectation of saturn that one work very hard and if one works very hard uh, uh, during the saturn madasha then saturn will actually reward you proportionately but after putting in a lot of effort right after Uh, getting expert in your particular field that is when actually saturn rewards you then uh, third is you know taking responsibility 
so we cannot run away from taking responsibility during saturn mahadasha believe me because i am going through saturn mahadasha you know i have i have spent close to 15 years and these 15 years were filled with responsibilities you know responsibilities on different fronts facing uh, all sorts of adversaries all sorts of issues but you know again you ga you gain so much of experience in your life that you know you can face different situation that is how saturn actually uh, you know gives you strength and prepares you to face the world right uh, then you know uh, one has to persevere because uh, one can easily lose patience during the saturn mahadasha so one has to persevere with determination and then only one will get result during the saturn mahadasha uh, and you know one thing is uh, what i learned from my uh, astrology uh, teachers in saturn mahadasha you are actually paying off your your karma so the activities which you have done you are getting that result back and you are just paying back the karma which you incurred uh, you know during your past life so it's not that something unjust is happening to you it's just that you know you are getting back what you actually uh, had done in your past life so if we understand that then we'll take things in proper perspective right and uh, one thing is actually actually saturn shows things on the ground right so in jupiter mahadasha when things are happening uh, very easily and everything seems uh, quite optimistic you know we don't get into Uh, the details and try to understand things on the ground but when saturn dasha starts it actually uh, shows us things on ground the reality of life it also makes one spiritual and if you are actually spiritual right if you have a strong spiritual background then you can actually go through saturn mahadasha you can actually grow through saturn mahadasha and gain lot of experience lot of knowledge right so believe me i have seen this personally and uh, what happens is uh, sometimes when one is going through a tough or even you know a moderate saturn mahadasha and because it's a 19 year period and during that period if uh, unfortunately sade sati also comes for that person so it's like you know the person is completely under the uh, ambit of saturn right so things will get very tough and i have faced this things will get very tough you know one is actually uh, physically as well as mentally impacted so it gives us lot of tough time so not necessarily for everyone because it depends upon uh, you know uh, where saturn is placed in your chart which house it is transiting etc but in general when this combo of saturn mahadasha and sade sati comes things are quite tough they are very tough right and uh, what happens is sometimes is uh, in a family suppose you know wife husband and children are there uh, and if everyone is under saturn mahadasha so i have seen these cases if everyone is saturn uh, is under saturn mahadasha then these kind of families they generally get isolated they they get cut off from you know the other family members or even other society sometimes and they are forced to live in isolation uh, they don't get the required support or required help and they have to work extremely hard and then they become independent and then they grow in their life right so that is what saturn is going to um, give to them and uh, saturn is creating these situations so that one becomes actually very strong right so uh, one uh, so one need not fear if saturn mahadasha is coming but one also has to know this philosophy of saturn and one has to develop patience start taking responsibility uh persevere determination hard work taking responsibility so these are the characteristics of saturn mahadasha and if you do that then you will gain a lot in saturn mahadasha right one need not fear saturn mahadasha but one has to prepare oneself uh, for saturn mahadasha don't take things easily don't be too optimistic during saturn mahadasha so it's all about you know being disciplined hard work and taking responsibility so guys this were these were my thoughts on saturn mahadasha so if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel so i'll be back with another interesting video thank you so much